Hey everyone, I'm Robert Harrison, one of six artists uh, chosen by the Montana Arts Council for the uh, annual or biannual Artist Innovation Award uh, given to a number of artists in the state of Montana in multi-disciplines. So in the Holter Museum of Art where I'm standing, there's four visual artists that are showing their work including myself, Ann Parsons, Jennifer Reif Snyder, and Jane Wagner Deschner. Um, we're from different cities in the state. Uh, myself and Nan Parsons are pretty much local to Helena. Uh, Jane is from uh, Billings, and uh, the other three women, uh, Jennifer, Naomi Siegel, and Melissa Stevenson, who uh, Naomi's a, a musician and uh, Melissa's a writer, uh, also uh, received the awards. So this is the first time that the, uh, we've had an opportunity or the Arts Council's had an opportunity to exhibit work by these uh, selected recipients. And uh, I, I'm honored to be one of the six. The award, as I mentioned, is every two year, awarded every two years by the Arts Council. There's a jury of our peers that's put together. You apply for the award, and if you want more information about the award, go to the uh, MAC website. So the Holter Museum of Art is open now to the public. The mu museum uh, galleries are all uh, open with exhibitions. And the ex this exhibition, the Artist Innovation Award by the Montana Arts Council runs through June 21st. Hope you're able to stop by and, and visit the work in real life, but uh, glad you're taking in this uh, virtual tour. It was up to each artist what kind of work or how much work they'd like to include in the exhibition. And I chose to exhibit a body work that's never been seen in North America. In fact, it's only been seen once in Denmark. When I made the work a few years back in Denmark, I thought it was an ideal opportunity for me to put together this uh, one uh, grouping of work uh, from, from my time in, in Denmark. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity, I think, for all of us to show what we do. When I uh, got to Denmark, I had a one month uh, uh, working time at, in southern Denmark. And the first thing I came across was a, a, a brick factory where I worked. But I was told that there were, on the fjords in Denmark where we were working, there were over a hundred brick factories years ago. There's about a dozen left now because of the rich clay deposits that have been left there. Part of the rationale to build those brick factories there besides the clay was shipping. I mean, they were able to basically produce the material and load it into ships and send it off. But on the edges of the fjords, in a few specific spots, there are what we nickname brick beaches, with remnants of hundreds of thousands of leftover bits and pieces of manufacture in, in Denmark, an age-old trading commodity. I tied that in with a collection of uh, flint stones, because the area in Denmark where I was working had one of the best deposits of, of flint in known in the world. It made the best uh, arrow and spear points. During the Stone Age and Bronze Age, that material was, uh, was precious and became a real important thing to Denmark. So I took it upon myself to collect up some of that material as well, and I have a, quite a, a nice small collection in the exhibition, and there's some photos and so on. But that really was my inspiration, I guess, for my work. I worked in the brick factories, I said. I used their materials, incredibly strong, beautiful black-fired clays that are just beyond comparison, I guess. And it was a real uh, honor, again, to uh, work 
there and use that material and produce some uh, unique work. So I'm really pleased to have it back here in Montana and on exhibition here at the Holter. I think all of us, uh, you know, we're lifelong educators basically. So we're working with all sorts of people, a lot of students, a lot of young people regularly and uh, trying to just, I think more than anything, give them an idea of what we do and where we come from with our ideas. So um, my, my hope is always that, uh, you know, groups of people, young people and, and uh, different generations come through the museum, see the work, um, or, or have questions about the work or, or, you know, think about what they're seeing a bit and uh, take it home and maybe it uh, inspires them to do their own, their own work. But uh, I think just seeing the caliber of the, uh, you know, this grouping of artists' work uh, in Montana is just uh, a big part of the exhibition. It's a relatively small community, even though uh, we're, we're spread out over a lot of miles. But, uh, you know, we keep in touch with one another, the, the arts, uh, visual arts group specifically, and uh, it's an honor to, to be able to bounce things off uh, their work as well. And, and the way that Rosemary Howell installed the work, uh, I was very pleased because she put Nan Parsons' paintings uh, next to some of my work and the, the color in, in both her paintings and my work resonated and I just, uh, you know, it, it was something that'll probably never happen again but it was really uh, a, a wonderful opportunity to get the work next to one another.